Hi, and thank you for tuning in to another edition of Rabbi Stein's PPE. This week's Parsha, Parshas Mitzora, is seemingly a continuation of last week, which, go figure, they're actually connected. And in a regular year, we have Tazriya and Mitzora, which are a double Parsha. But this year, because it's a leap year, and all the other different events happening throughout the year, it just happens to be that Mitzora is on its own. Now, this year in particular, this Shabbos, Shabbos Parshas Mitzora, also happens to be what's known as Shabbos Agadol, the great Shabbos, the big Shabbos. And what makes this Shabbos so special? Mani Shtana HaShabbos Hazeh Mikol other Shabbatot. And that is, is that this is the Shabbos before Pesach. So here's the message that I want to share this week. In Parshas Mitzorah, we see that there's a negative that can be used for the positive. Someone, Rechman al-Litzlan, God forbid, comes down with a case of Tras. And he goes to the Kohen, and the Kohen tells him to do X, Y, and Z, and go here, and go there, and clear out the house, and do all the things necessary. And the man comes back, and the Kohen comes back, and says, yes, it actually is Tras. Now you have to have a whole bucket list of what's next to do. Or, he comes back, and finds that it's not really Tras. Or they find Tras in the house, what are they supposed to do? What's interesting, is in the case of the house, that Tras itself, which is a negative thing, someone gets Tras, God forbid, for speaking Lush and Hara. But the tras itself, the, the skin lesion or the marking of, of defect, is actually used to reveal something hidden. We all have something hidden within. We all have go through we all go through many nisyonot, nisayons in life, trials and tribulations in life. That which we perceive to be negative actually is used to become our benefit. How so? When sending God forbid negative happens in our lives. We have one of two things. We can become defeated and remain defeated. Or we can use that negative and say, I'm not going to let this beat me. I'm going to grow and I'm going to change. And I'm going to become someone new. The moment that I say that I'm going to grow from this experience, that's how we declare victory. That's because now you've gone through this experience. It's become part of you. It's become, it's become who you are. And now you're able to share that experience with the rest of the world. You see, the idea of trust, on the one hand, it was negative. But on the other hand, it was God showing a supernatural way of, of dealing with the Jewish people. It was another proof, another miracle of the divine. And yes, we many times, more often than not, get hung up on the actual negativity. But do we actually look beyond the instance, beyond what's actually happened to us, and realize its true potential. Shabbat Shalom, a Pesach Kasher V'Sameach, Achfrei Lechen Yontiv, and we hope to see you again next time. Thank you, and all the best.